Okay, just a quick video on my dual boot Windows 7, Windows 8 uh, computer. Um, I know there's a lot uh, or more videos out there that are detailed on how to do uh, go about dual booting uh, Windows 8 and 7. But uh, the main point of this video is to show you that you could actually do it uh, with endpoint encryption. So if you work for a company uh, that requires that their all la company laptop be encrypted, uh, the challenge on that is, of course, uh, you will crash uh, your dual boot uh, and render one of your operating system not working uh, if you put encryption on it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to dual boot. Just a quick uh, rundown of it. I'm not going to bore you of details. You could look it up on how to do a more detailed instruction on how to do a boot, but I'm going to give it to you. So I'm going to go ahead and, and log into my Windows 8 right here. And there it is, just to show you. Log into that. Okay, that's Windows 8 for you. Um, I have a few apps already installed. Um, I got my Endpoint Encryption Manager. I just happen to be an administrator as well on it. So this will make it easy uh, if you're the administrator of uh, your Endpoint Encryption. Uh, but if you are not, you could of course talk to your uh, Endpoint Encryption Manager um, uh, administrator and uh, I'll show you some steps. But just want to show you this is Windows 8. And there's my desktop right there. So I'm going to go ahead and restart this and show you uh, the Windows 7 side of things. Okay, it's restarting right now. I just initiated the restart. And of course, it will give us the, um, the uh, boot up or the uh, OS selection again. I'm not going to bore you with that. Uh, hopefully, it comes up quick. You notice there's my uh, encryption notification right there. But... Here's Windows 8 coming up again, and of course the uh, selection to select your operating system. Here's the OS selection again, just got it back up. So Windows 7, log into it. You'll notice the uh, encryption right there, a little quick pop-up, that you know it's encrypted. And here's my Windows 7 coming up. Okay, it's almost finished booting up. Get to log in again. And then from there, I actually, uh, you can see this is now Windows 7. Uh, I did create a quick uh, slide in here um, and uh, do pull that up right now. So just a quick instruction on how I did a dual boot with endpoint encryption. So pretty much, there it is, if you could read it. Um, did a dual boot with Windows 7 and Windows 8. Uh, all I did was, of course, I partitioned my um, fresh hard drive uh, for dual booting. I just did two partition. I installed the Windows 7 full version on partition 1 and uh, I installed the Windows 8 upgrade actually on partition 2. Then I installed the uh, endpoint client on both sides. So you have to log into Windows 7, install the endpoint client and then log off and then log into Windows 8 and then uh, install the client, the endpoint client again on Windows 8. Uh, after you install it on both, you know, sync it uh, both sides again to your endpoint manager. And then, of course, you could ask your uh, endpoint encryption administrator to enable the boot manager on both instances. So, Windows 7 and Windows 8. Uh, of course, you could do it if you are the admin. Uh, and, of course, sync it one more time to make sure that the the uh, enabled boot is uh, uh, received by your computer. Once sync, you can now initiate the encryption process. So I actually have a screenshot of uh, you log into that. 
and here's the important part. Notice I named my computer appropriately. Uh, my name and of course 07 uh, and some numbers right there. Uh, the one below is of course my uh, Windows uh, 8 instance and all you got to do is right click on both uh, and then scroll down to the boot section, click on that and then you could see that enable boot manager. I actually changed it to 240 seconds and of course once you do that just click on apply and um, after that of course once you do that you could now initiate the sync and then from there uh, you know cross your fingers and then uh, it should reboot and start encrypting your um, your hard drive you only need to do it on one side it actually encrypts both uh, partition um, and I initiated mine on Windows 7 things uh, Windows uh, 7 side of things and then after that uh, I slept and I woke up everything is uh, encrypted my entire hard drive is encrypted and then from there all I did is of course uh, cross my finger boot it up on both sides and hopefully it comes up other than that that is how you boot up uh, do a dual boot of Windows 7 and Windows 8 with endpoint encryption thank you for watching hopefully that helps you out